So I went back to the boss man, Justin, and said, shipping 650, what can you do? He's like, well, 220 is three pallets, so right. let's go to 208, and then you'll have two pallets. Okay, let's run it. She calls me. The broker's the same, 650. What? Wow. So I went up to him. Is there something you can do for me? Like, like right. it's, it's 11 hours away from me. Why would it be $650? And so he called his office. He kind of talked to her, and he's like, yeah, she, she's right. Prices went up. Wow. Well, then I'll go somewhere else. So where are you going? I went to Richwood, but they're out of California. Yeah. So most likely I'm going to end up going back to him because I don't want to go to Atlas. Like you were saying, you like the Atlas stuff. No. Why well, have to go look at it again real quick, though? I got to film Justin. Oh, it's filming right now. Okay. Go ahead. Keep it short, Justin. He's a busy What's man. Up? My name's Justin for Party Rental Knowledge. I'm here with Scott from Tenox. Tenox is like deep piece of equipment for party rental industry if you like at a certain scale you want to move big stuff um it's an articulated machine right yep um you, you talk about it a little bit more man so Just explain a little bit to me because i'm i'm not totally familiar with this stuff okay all i know is that like this is what the big dogs use so that the tenox is an articulated loader with flotation tires so it's turf friendly in the tent business it's a combination of tent tools for driving and pulling stakes, but it's also huge in material handling with the fork attachment with the forks under there that's 48 inches, the tall back. So when you lean that back to 45 degrees, you've got a huge saddle on which you can put tent tops, bounce rides, and because each of the booms are extendable, when you're loading back up a truck or something that's taller, you can actually take the loads, get them up higher, and dump them. So yeah, with tent tops, you have the ability to top them up. I don't do a lot directly with bounce rides, but I can see the application. You can stack bounce houses on top of each other. You can literally get, you literally see people use these. You don't need a forklift if you're not, if you're long as you're not like three bays high. But they make bigger machines that can go to three bays high. So if you're at that level and. Um, the big things are the articulator. You want to come over here, Adam? This is like turn, mm -hmm. This yep. doesn't ruin grass. Like I, we used to deliver. Oh, we use a ditch witch. Yep. And like, you just gotta be careful mm -hmm. when you turn it. Right. You know what I mean, baby it. Where this, it, the articulation doesn't tear up the grass at all. Um, you guys, well, you might have with the bot pretty much too, right? Yep. So the bot makes this. So, so the question is, does Justin fit in the machine? Well, let's see. <laughs> That's a good question. And the answer is yes, because I've got some very tall people to get this machine. But he's right at the limit. Yeah, so, I'm right. I'm almost, almost on that. So there's, uh, there's one other attachment that we're working on for the structure companies, which is for moving their larger fabric. It's actually going to be a clamp system that comes in and grabs it. And it's tender enough in terms of its touch points that it's not going to damage the fabric. The goal is to be able to reach that, bring it up, and stack it into the flatbeds when they're bigger, uh, you know, like a sports venue type operation. That probably has a potential application with the bounce rides too, as you get into your. Uh, this thing's not, like so. I do tents and bounce houses. This thing's perfect. I can literally move stakes. I can move tent poles. I can move bounce houses. Move tent tops. Move move equipment. Like there's there's come situations where. There's some big jobs that we do, and having this just to move around, it's like, it's a super golf cart where I can move big things around. It's its very practical when you're at a certain level and you need certain things done. You, like, it's a stake driver, it's, you know what I mean? It's a, you can move, you can put tents up with it. You can take tents down with it. You can move bounce houses with it. You can, like, what, you have, what other attachments do you have? So, forks, yeah. I mean, what we have here is the forks. We have the stake driver, stake puller, center pole push. We have yeah, uh, the stake puller, too. Yep. Mm -hmm. And you have the ability to hook the front end up to your trailer so you can pull the trailer up into a field or a place where a truck might not go. So, so, and actually, yeah. moving generators is very common. So you have the trailer ball you can hook up to. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So it's, it's just trying to be a... It's, generators, it's a, feeders. Yeah. Yeah, it's a pretty complete system. Uh, typical tent company buys a suite of tools. Uh, it's really, but many people are just buying what, what works for them, moving the concrete ballast to the block and yeah, roll and things. Do you have a block and roll? We do. Yeah, it's a we just put the forks together kind of to go well, right there, right? It's a special fork so we can pick up two blocks at a time 
but the fork is wider and flatter, so when That's you pick awesome. it up, they're not falling up off the uh, forks. So it doubles what a block and roll car can do, right. pretty much. And it's a short and fork. labor. It's a short fork, so you're not running into the box behind it as you load. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. So that's yeah, basically that's, it. That's interesting. But thank you for your time and letting them take a look at it. I know. I like I like 10 hours, man. Do you drive this on a field? Do you like, on, uh, all the time. On I mean, a field, like a uh, turf field? So one of the places this is very popular is when they're doing the university graduations. They got 3,000 chairs for... Uh, you know, Cornell or somebody like that. This goes right on the artificial turf field. That's what I'm saying. This would be perfect for like a stadium or yeah. something. Yeah. Yeah. All this right. is awesome.